everyone welcome back to my channel so i am actually on my balcony right now we are going to be doing a garden balcony tour in miami so this is my miami balcony garden and i started it about two months ago maybe like seven weeks ago i'm actually a little disappointed with it because i haven't gotten any fruit or food or vegetable or anything yet and actually as you'll see some of it has already died but let's just get right into this oh but before we do if you have not already please make sure to subscribe to my channel give this video a like so that i know you like it and comment down below what you want to see me do next if you want to see more like gardening stuff cooking stuff or something else completely i'm also going to be doing traveling videos soon but let's just get into it okay so first i'm going to show you my bean plants all right so my camera actually died i i just charged it for a little bit so we don't have too much time but i'm going to try and show you my garden so first was the double bean plant so i actually have two beans planted in here so in here i have a purple a purple royalty pod and then just a green garden bean so i'm pretty sure this one is the purple royalty pod and then this one is the green garden bean they haven't been um showing beans so far but they have been having these like little flowers i don't know if you can see these little purple flowers i keep thinking they're beans actually and then they're not um i have it in this um container i think it's it's about 12 it well it's 12 inches down and i think 12 across as well i, I can't remember I'll try and find out. I'll also show you which actual seeds they are. Okay, so in that one that I just showed you, it was these Garden Beans Royal Purple Pods. They're organic, of course. And then this one is organic to Renee's Garden, and these are Heirloom Bush Beans Provider. The green beans that I just showed you are actually not really for a balcony garden because they spread out and they're really not good to do in a small space at all. Um, they were actually a mistake. I didn't realize that when I planted it. It was one of the first things I planted and I just didn't know. So I wouldn't recommend that. Obviously, I would recommend more of like a bush bean or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm a beginner, so that's what I did. Okay, next I'm going to show you my tomato plant. And by the way, I have purple beans, green beans, tomatoes, peppers, okra, cucumber. I did have radishes. They died. And I have some basil and dill growing. Um, but again, like nothing so far that I've eaten because this is just the beginning. But let me show you my beautiful tomato plant. So here's the tomato plant. Um, this one actually has the biggest container of them all. I don't know the exact size, but I think it's like 18 inches where the other ones were 12. And you can see it's like a really beautiful green color, the plant. It's like a bright green. And that plant is actually going to be yellow tomatoes. Let me show you the exact seeds I used. A super loud plane. So it's these yellow tomatoes. They're organic as well. Um, they're called yellow pears because they have this pear shape. Again, I have not seen them yet, but they are on their way. I planted that about, I don't know, six weeks ago, maybe seven. Next, I'm going to show you my peppers. The peppers are the only ones that aren't organic, so I'm a little bit sad about that. Um, but they're, they're doing really nice as well. Let me show you. So here's my beautiful pepper plant. It's a little wilted. I need to water it. Um, but as you can see, these little tiny buds, I don't know if you can see them, like right here. Those are actually flowers. I originally thought they were baby peppers. They are not. Let me see if I can find a flower. Okay, there is a flower, and it comes from those little buds. There's also one back there, a flower. So we have some flowers here, but no peppers so far. Um, but yeah, this is actually a really, really tall plant, and I'll show you um, what kind of pepper it is. So again, they're not organic, but it's this um baby snack pepper yummy bells orange they're mini they're small so i'm really excited for that i'm like out of breath okay next i'm going to show you my beautiful cucumber plant i'm not sure if there's something wrong with it because the leaves are like really kind of light green slash yellow instead of like that dark green so if you guys have any tips please let me know in the comments i don't want to ruin my plant um but let me show you so this is my cucumber plant over here and as you can see it's really light green leaves whereas this pepper which i think is more healthy is dark green 
So let me know what I can do, but this plant is super tall as well. Like it's grown close to the top of the trellis. Um, and the trellis is just these wire things for those who don't know. And it has some flowers underneath the leaves. There's a flower. Actually, that looks kind of different than the typical flower. Um, some leaves under there. I think there's flowers. Yeah, we have a bunch of flowers over there. Um, but still no cucumbers. And here's the dying radishes. I'm really sad. Oh, there's some like mold it looks like. I don't know. These were supposed to be done in three weeks. Those were supposed to be really beautiful um, like cherry bell radishes and it was only supposed to take three weeks but at three weeks it wasn't ready so I was just like okay let me keep waiting let me keep waiting I've pulled out some of the radishes and it's just not even a radish it's just a tiny root so I really just have to clean that out completely and start over I think the problem it might just be that it's too hot I'm in South Florida or it might be that they're a little bit overcrowded even though I followed the instructions for the spacing so I'm a little bit sad about that I'm not sure um, again if anyone knows please let me know and let me just show you all I have left to show you now is okra and then my herbs so my camera's about to die let's see if we can do it before it dies so here is my beautiful basil um, I planted a bunch of seeds at once of course like I'm gonna have to thin that out and I'll only leave one plant because this is a small container um, but that is my beautiful basil. I actually planted parsley here the exact same time as the basil, but it didn't grow at all. So I don't know, I don't like to give up because sometimes even weeks later they'll finally sprout. So we'll keep trying with that. And then here is my dill. This is crazy because I planted this dill the same time as the peppers and the cucumber. And this is the pepper <laughs> and this is the cucumber. But this is the only dill I have, which is a little crazy. Um, so I haven't eaten any of that yet because I'm just waiting a little longer. And then last but not least, here is my beautiful okra. It is wilting over a little bit. I think it just needs some water. It's super hot here, so even soon after I water it, they kind of wilt a little bit. But there's my beautiful okra plants. There's two in there. Of course, I'm going to transfer them to a bigger container and only keep one. And if you guys saw these and are wondering what these are, these are actually seeds that I dried out. Um, these two right here are Mami Sapote seeds, or I think it's pronounced Mamai Sapote, I'm not sure. And this is an avocado seed. I just kind of wanted to see what would happen when they dry out. Okay, the camera died again. Let's head back on out to the balcony. But I pretty much showed you guys everything. I just want to show you now the last few seeds that I used, um, just so you can see that. But pretty much showed you everything already. So these are the okra seeds I used, organic okra. I was super excited to find these because the main reason why I wanted to plant okra is because I can't find organic okra anywhere. Not even, not frozen, not fresh, not anywhere. So when I found the organic okra seeds, I was so happy. So here is a zoomed out view of my balcony garden. It's super messy. I need to like take a, I brought like a kind of toilet cleaner brush that I'm just going to use. It's a clean one, obviously, to push all this dirt um, out the little drainage hole. And then, of course, these are just empty soil bags. I just need to throw them away. This one still has a little bit left, so I'll keep that. Um, and then I'm going to plant some other things in these little pots. I don't actually recommend these clay pots because when you need to transfer things, you can't squeeze them to get it out. Like with this one, you can squeeze it um, and, and help everything come out easier. Um, but yeah, I'm going to clean this up. So yeah, I will give you guys an update when things start fruiting. I'm super, super excited. I am doing this because I want to eat my own organic food that I grow from seed. Oh, that's the other point. All of this was grown from seed. I didn't buy anything started at all. Um, I just wanted to see the whole process. And another fun thing I'm doing is like for the peppers, for example, like I'm not looking up like how they start growing. So I'm not looking up if they grow out of flowers, if they grow separately, like what the baby peppers look like because I wanna experience it for the first time. Um, so I'm super excited. So that is it for my balcony garden tour. This was a little bit rushed, I know. I just kind of filmed this on the spot, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know if you wanna see more gardening videos. Um, and let me know your suggestions as well. Please like this video, subscribe if you have not subscribed already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.